Hi guys, welcome back to LearnBiology.net. I'm Frankie. In this revision session, we're going to take a look at DNA technologies and using the enzyme reverse transcriptase. All right, let's get started. And your learning outcomes are, number one, know that the enzyme reverse transcriptase polymerizes DNA from an RNA template. Number two, explain the steps involved in producing a complementary DNA clone from a messenger RNA strand of interest. In the previous lesson, we outlined the key principle of what recombinant DNA is. Uh, the knowledge required to understand DNA technology, i.e. understanding transcription, translation, and the use of particular enzymes, etc. In this lesson, we will focus on how DNA clones, called complementary DNA, or cDNA, can be produced by making use of the enzyme reverse transcriptase. You'll remember now that viruses, called retroviruses, like HIV, have enzymes called reverse transcriptase. These enzymes are able to reverse transcriptase RNA into DNA. This technique utilizes reverse transcriptase enzymes to make a complementary DNA, cDNA fragment, specifically of the gene of interest from a messenger RNA molecule. You know that messenger RNA is required to direct the synthesis of a polypeptide chain, and that there are lots of messenger RNAs produced during transcription in order to make lots of the required protein. So it stands to reason that it must be easier to acquire a messenger RNA molecule from the cell for the protein we want to make than it is to acquire the specific DNA section, the gene of interest, directly from the chromosome itself. Since, of course, there are only two copies of the gene in the first place, one at each locus on each homologous chromosome. Now, since there are many messenger RNAs being produced from the transcription of the gene we're interested in, we just need a way to reverse the messenger RNA code back into the DNA code from which it was transcribed. And that is where we make use of reverse transcription enzymes. Reverse transcriptase directs the synthesis of a DNA strand from an RNA template. Here are the steps you need to know about producing a DNA section, a gene of interest, from messenger RNA obtained from cells producing a protein we want to make. Step one, extract messenger RNA from a cell. For example, if we want to make the protein insulin, we can isolate and extract messenger RNA transcribed from the gene that codes for the production of insulin from a pancreatic cell. Step two, add poly T primers to hybridize or complementary base pair to the poly A tail of messenger RNA. Step three, reverse transcriptase copies the messenger RNA forming a complementary DNA messenger RNA hybrid. Step four, the complementary DNA messenger RNA hybrid is degraded, it's hydrolyzed, it's split apart using an enzyme called RNAs H. But you don't need to recall the name of this enzyme. Step five, DNA polymerase is added, which synthesizes double-stranded complementary DNA from the complementary DNA template. And there we have it. We have produced a complementary DNA molecule from a messenger RNA molecule that codes for a protein we want to make lots of, for example, insulin. Now, we are able to take the double-stranded complementary DNA and insert it into a virus vector or a plasmid, so we can make lots of copies of that cDNA molecule. The result is a collection of cloned cDNA molecules. The cDNA clones obtained from a single messenger RNA are collectively known as a complementary DNA library. And that is how we use reverse transcriptase to create a copy of DNA for the gene we are interested in from a messenger RNA molecule. All right, so let's take a look at an exam style question to see what you're expected to know from this revision session. As usual, you could be asked something pretty straightforward to begin with, such as this question here. Certain viruses can be used in gene therapy. These viruses have RNA as their genetic material and have an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. Inside a human cell, reverse transcriptase uses viral RNA to make viral DNA. Explain why the enzyme is called reverse transcriptase. So a pretty straightforward question, and all you essentially need to write for this is reverse transcriptase synthesizes DNA from an RNA template. 
Next we have this question about a genetically engineered strain of broad bean which has been developed and contains proteins rich in sulfur containing amino acids. And we can see this section of DNA. A section of DNA containing three different genes has been prepared and inserted into the broad bean cultivar. Gene B was obtained from messenger RNA of chia seeds. The question is explain how enzymes could be used to obtain the gene from the messenger RNA. So so as outlined in this revision session, the key points that you must say are messenger RNA is extracted from the chia seeds, the enzyme reverse transcriptase, DNA nucleotides and DNA primers or poly T primers are added. Reverse transcriptase synthesizes a single strand of complementary DNA from the messenger RNA template. The complementary DNA messenger RNA hybrid is degraded and split apart and DNA polymerase synthesizes a double stranded complementary DNA. And finally, they want you to explain explain why it is an advantage to acquire the gene of interest from messenger RNA rather than from DNA from the chia seeds. So because they want the advantages, they want to know that it is more useful to acquire the messenger RNA for the gene of interest since there are more copies of messenger RNA available. Also, the messenger RNA only codes for the protein we are interested in since the gene has been transcribed from DNA. As a result of post-transcriptional RNA splicing, introns, those known coding regions, have been removed and only exons, the coding regions, for the protein are expressed. If taken directly from DNA, all genes for the cell or the organism are present, including coding and non-coding regions of the gene. So that guys brings us to the end of this revision session. I hope you found it useful and in the next lesson we're going to take a look at how restriction enzymes are used to create recombinant DNA. So until then, as always, take it easy.